tuning in. On this, our 603rd episode, we take you to Newport Ritchie to the 4th Anniversary Bash at Gulf Coast Harley-Davidson. And then it's a rare personal look at the Renegades Motorcycle Club with exclusive interviews that prove you can't judge a book by its cover. All this and more is coming up right here only on Born to Ride. It's MJ from the MJ Morning Show, and this is the 600th episode of Board to Ride, baby! Can you believe it? It's been four years for Newport Ritchie's Gulf Coast Harley-Davidson dealership, and this year's party pulled out all the stops. Stunt shows started out the entertainment with the Globe of Death. Then Team Extreme did their famous stunt riding demonstration. This was a family event and everybody was welcome. You could even get your boots shined by a beautiful young lady who would then break out her secret weapon. Boots Flambe. That's right, the heat melts the polish and gives you a professional finish. Oh, and we couldn't forget Charlie and the House Rockers as they teamed up with the Harley Girls and rocked the day away. Harley. He loves to ride with us.
Oh, it's all about me today. Yeah. I'm getting a shirt and some glasses. Born to ride is the way to go. If you don't have it, you're out of it. Sturmberg at Gulf Coast, Harley Davidson, how you doing? We're having our anniversary party. It's our fourth anniversary party. Um, we've got all kinds of vendors here, probably 50 vendors going on today. We're just giving back to the community, uh, making sure that we give back to all the biker community that comes out and, and comes, to, comes to our dealership uh, almost every single weekend. We have our barbecues and whatnot, and uh, we just wanted to uh, thank everybody. And We do this once a year, and uh, we really appreciate everybody coming out. We're having a I gotta have probably 3,000, 4,000 bikes here right now, and uh, it's real exciting. So um, we're keeping busy, and uh, we're really enjoying everybody coming out and having a good time. If you guys missed the party, come on out any weekend. We have a barbecue every single weekend. We get free food, drinks, hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever you want, and we have over 100 motorcycles on the floor. Come buy your Harley Davidson. Like I said, we've got over 100 Harleys sitting here on the floor for you guys to choose from, and come enjoy our barbecue and I just have have a good time. And like I said, folks, we got over 100 bikes on the floor. We want you guys to come out, feel comfortable. They're leaving right now as we speak. You know, come down and feel comfortable. Talk to any of our guys. We want to get you riding today, and we'll see you here again on Born to Ride. This is Shannon Berg with Real Radio 104.1, and you're watching Born to Ride TV. Do you get our monthly exclusive newsletter? Sign up at borntoride.com and get on our mailing list today. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine, the ultimate multimedia biker experience. You're watching Born to Ride. Hi, how y'all doing? I'm Big Mike, Renegades Motorcycle Club here in Tampa, Florida. We've been here about uh, 35 years now. We've got a lot of people in the community in the past that probably uh, don't know what we do in the off season. Uh, off season being when uh, all the big runs are not going on, and all the charities and that. Well, we do this year round. We're bikers, we're Renegades. We're out here to help the community besides help ourselves with our families, kids, grandkids, and all that kind of stuff. We all have jobs, we work. 25 years ago, people didn't even want to be seen with somebody that had a patch on their back, but nowadays it's a lot different. People understand. Things have changed. There's a lot of good people out there on Harleys. We're all out here just to enjoy ourselves, the freedom of the road, and the brotherhood, and the sisterhood. Nowadays, we've been able to expand out to chapters in other cities and around the state. Specifically, we've recently opened up in Plant City. We have a good bunch of brothers out there. Some of the things I'd like to let you know about is that uh, besides the high profile runs you all know about, which would include the uh, toy runs, 
and the food runs, chapters like ourselves, we pick out small and unknown causes, like the local missions two or three blocks from your house that don't have no sponsorship. Well, during the year, they're feeding homeless people night and day. What we do is we try to bring together our supporters and ourselves and donate what we can. I mean, some of our people don't have a lot, but we donate what we can. We put that together and we go down there and help the food pantries and those that don't have a place to stay. And it's hard because everybody knows it's hard to share. But that's what we do. We don't want to be bragging about it. We don't want to be asking for no kudos or favors about it. But we want to let you know that people with patches are not all bad. I won't uh, disagree that there might not have been somebody who had a disagreement with one of my brothers or me in the past, but life's like that. You could be wearing underwear and still have disagreements. And uh, I'd like to take this time for you to have a look around, see some of my brothers. Sundance, Plant City Chapter, Dover, Tampa, Cherokee, Cherokee Plant City, Bryan, Tampa, uh, Big Daddy, Plant City, Jamie from uh, Plant City, over my shoulder here, BJ, Tampa, uh, Jim from Tampa, damn, can't get it all straight today, too much turning to remember. I'm from the Tampa chapter, but I'm going to go ahead and hand you over for a second to Jamie. He's going to speak for the Plant City chapter and let you know some of the things that they performed in the last six months or so. Uh, as far as trying to help the community out, and then I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, what we've done, we opened in July 1st uh, last year, and uh, what we did this year, as everybody knows if they follow the newspaper, is uh, there was about a half a dozen churches in our area that were robbed over the holidays. Um, I'm not sure of all the names, but we did a, a, a toy run uh, and had a massive turnout. Uh, a lot of the people that are here tonight were there. Uh, we collected a truckload of toys and we delivered at the First Baptist Church of Antioch on McIntosh and Knights Griffin Road, which was one of the churches that was robbed. Their safe was taken, all their money. And uh, from there, we wanted them to disperse the toys accordingly to the other churches as needed. Um, they were very thankful. They were, they were in awe. They couldn't believe, you know, what kind of uh, gesture was done from, from people of, uh, on, our side of the, on our side of the sidewalk. But uh, that's, you know, support is a, it goes full circle. You can't get your community behind you unless you get behind your community. We're a new chapter, and sometimes you have to knuckle down and be the one who gives that support first. You know, you got you to gotta give it to get it, and that's what we did. And it's, uh, you know, it wasn't for the glit and the glory, as Mike said before. You know, we're, we're real people. We work. We have families. Our families are involved in this club. Uh, that's what we're about. Those churches were robbed. The toys that were taken from those churches and their funds, you know, backed up a lot of stuff they were doing for needy kids in the in the during the holiday season. That particular church that we delivered the toys to, um, bus kids in to their church and hand out toys at Christmas time. All their toys were taken, uh, as well as their safe, and we enabled them to have a, a whole truckload of toys to can give to those children, uh, so they didn't miss out on uh, their holiday plans. All right, people, we'd like to thank you for coming out here. People from Born to Ride, Ronnie, Randy, Val, all the time you put in the last 12 and a half, 13 years. We haven't got to be with you that much, but we've known you for many more years, Ron. We want to congratulate you on your 600th episode that just aired on national TV. We're really glad about that and all the good things you've done for the community of bikers all together. Uh, one quick note, this upcoming year, our chapters do have several things planned as far as... Uh, donating to charities uh, like people to remember about the missions and things like that that need food every night of the week you don't have to wait till Christmas if you got extra canned food or some extra food don't be scared to take it to your local mission and drop it off those people are hungry every day just like us hey I'm Steven Tyler from Aerosmith you're watching Born to Ride TV oh yeah Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com.
Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Born to Ride Television actually took a poll of our viewers and we figured that you could have a 100% approval rating if you just go with, well, one or two more girls. Well, you know, I've often given that a lot of thought. You know, Craven, you and I are a lot alike, you know. I you know, you're a leader, uh, I'm a leader. Right. Uh, you're passionate about your work, I'm passionate about my work. Well, our names are kind of similar, you know, Craven Moorhead and, of right. course, uh, Slick, Slick Willie. Slick Willie, yeah. there you go. <laughs> and we're and, proud uh, of you. not only that, the chicks love us, right? That's right, I mean, they do, but, you know, hey, you know, that's, that's, that's cool right. and everything, but what's going to happen, uh, I've heard recently that Possibly the Secret Service may actually have to testify and actually tell the truth in the, um, well, you know, I know you've been up against this before, but how do you feel now? Well, you know, I've been up against a lot before, Craven. Yeah, I uh, bet. <laughs> uh, but aside from that, this is nothing new for me and my administration. Of course, you know, we had the, uh, the uh, trooper gate that happened to me when I was governor of Arkansas. And, uh, well, you know, my, my motto is that loose lips sink ships, but uh, hey, come on, man, I'll tell you, take a number. It doesn't matter to me. But let me they ask don't you a question. Slick Willie for nothing. That's, is there any like coincidence in the fact that, you know, the Bill of Rights has your first name? Never thought about it that way, but you might have a point there. Craven. I talked to you Mr. Starr about this now, you know, and uh, he's thinking that there might be a little bit of an inside conspiracy. Can you, wait a minute, you won't comment on that, will well, you? Let me just say something about this whole fiasco with uh, Mr. Starr. Personally, I feel as though, uh, well, uh, he doesn't have a leg to stand on. It, it'll all blow over in no time at all. Uh, what? And that's it, a that's a that's a, a coin phrase for you. Blow over. It I will mean, all blow over. And I, I believe at this point in time, he's really just splitting hairs. If you know what I mean. <laughs> the president of the United States, Bill. And thanks for watching Born to Ride. Do you want to say anything else to our viewers? Ladies, we're having a little party at the presidential suite down the street. A little I knew this was on, coming. And, uh, <laughs> why don't y'all stop by? I certainly would like to see more of you. And remember my motto: Come early, come often. Thank you very much. God bless you.